children in this video i would like to introduce uh, call by reference or we can say passing objects so here in this uh, you can see that i have created a class number and in this uh, i have declared one variable num along with this this is the main method where i have taken this uh, scanner class in this one variable is and here after enter number which is n now i am going to create the object of this passing n now you see the constructor which is and here num is equal to n this is the this obj is the first object and here enter number again and this is uh, ss dot next int and number second new number passing this and this is the second object and in this i'm just passing here uh, Before I am going to create another one, I would like to tell you what is uh, actually called by reference. Here, if we display this first and if we display this second, see what appears on the screen. The first is 10, another is 20. You see that these two values, number at the rate 6D03E736. And the another value which is number at the rate 568 db2f2. What is this? These are the addresses of the object first and second. Actually, these are the memory location at which this num variable is there and along with this constructor is there and if any other function I am going to display, suppose I am just writing this display and here it is uh, number 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 first first not first but number n so this display will be also the part of that memory location actually I want to tell you that when this object is initialized then a memory block is created which is having one instance variable along with these functions. So here if you just write first dot display so this first dot means the memory block which has been assigned to this variable first and then second dot display means the memory block which has been assigned to this second variable now you see suppose here it is num not and so it is num it is num and now see it is 12 and it is 20 it is 32 see that here number 12 is being displayed after we have used the address of the first memory block and the address is this one so first dot means this memory address and then the number 12 comes and second dot means 
this memory address and then this value 32 comes. So this is how the addresses are involved. Now if we are going to calculate the sum of two numbers, we need another function which is suppose number and add and here I am passing these two objects. So if you see the prototype of this function which simply means that the name of the function is add which is going to receive two memory two objects first and second of number class and this function is going to return another object which is of the same class type and here suppose I am going to create one more object which is result here initially this result is blank because uh, blank it is not blank it has got some memory location but this zero will get stored in this variable num so initially result dot num is zero and here if we return this Without doing anything, you will see if I am calling this function, suppose I am calling here number r is first dot add first comma second, I am just calling this function and here this r, this not r but here r dot display if I am just see what happens I am passing 10 comma 20 but here the value of number is 0 just because within this function I have not modified result dot num I am just removing these two lines because uh, I hope you have understood what is the memory address one more thing I would like to tell you children suppose one object of the number class has been created and that memory block is having this instance variable that memory block is also having this constructor that memory block is also having this display function that memory block is also having this add function so here if i have written first dot add it simply means i am just using the add function from the first memory block with the help of this dot operator first dot add first comma second since the prototype of this function receives two parameters that's why i am passing first comma second the memory address of first and second will get copied in these two variables and here within this function body i am going to calculate the sum so for that it is result dot num is equals to first dot num plus second dot num and after that I am just returning the result see that if it is 10 it is 20 then it means uh, here on the screen you can see the sum is 30 so passing objects means that during the function call or during the execution of the program within the main method or somewhere else we can pass the addresses of the object one more thing we can do is uh, one more thing we can do is that if uh, I am not uh, suppose here the return type of the function is void suppose the return type is void and here if I am not writing anything, if I am not creating this object and here if I am just writing num and if I am avoiding this one. So here if you see this prototype it simply means that this function is not going to return anything. So how, in that case how to display the result. So in that case what you need to do is just create one object number r new number and initially it is 0 and you need to call this function which is r dot r dot add 
so with the help of any object whether it is first second or or we can call this function add it is not an issue but here when we have declared this object r so what will happen it simply means this add function it belongs to r at this present time so within this add function this num variable is the part of that current calling object which is r if i am calling this function add with the help of r dot it means current calling object is r if i am calling this function with the help of first it means current calling object is first if i am calling this function second it means the current calling object is second but at present i am calling this function r i am calling this uh, function add of object r it means current calling object is r so it simply means this object num belongs to this current calling object r it simply means the values of first dot num and second dot num will get added and will get stored in the num variable of the current calling object one more thing i would like to tell you that the values of current calling objects are directly available without any reference if i am just doing r dot num it means num of r is already available if i am doing if i am just writing first dot add it means the value the variable of the variable num of the first which is the current calling object is directly available so if i am not passing any value here if i am not uh, if this function is not returning any value here it means we have to use the concept of current calling object now you see that this num belongs to the variable the object r which is a current calling object and the two the values of two passed objects are uh, added and will get stored in this variable num and after that what will happen this r dot whenever you use this r dot display the value will appear on the screen in terms of the sum of two numbers so please see that it is 10 and it is 100 now you see that the answer is 110 so i hope you have enjoyed the concept of passing objects thanks for watching